Rising all the time now, and up towards this finish will be four from the finish. And as they do so, it's Battler Slilo who leads the way from Canuck Nagan up on his outside in second. Festive Day is next and just got a bit close to that one, surrendered a few lengths. He's a magpie, gets reminders back and forth, already passed by Castle Cook, Andy Temple Mills. And too much thinking, they're going to ride away from long-time leader Three Colleen's Forgive and Forget and Native Court. At the third last now up and over and it is Canuck Nagan from Battle Shlilo in second they're followed by Castle Cook Andy who is staying on festive day too much thinking and Temple Mills has gone away from he's a magpie and the three Colleen's and that's all the remain is over the second last and they go downhill now into the home straight this final time with just one fence left to jump three Colleen was pulled up before two out and as they do so, it is Canuck Nagan and Battle Slilo through the gap. They are followed next to the outside by Castle Cook Andy. But on a downhill run now, it is Battle Slilo who's given off as by Derek O'Connor. Goes on two or three lanes clear now from Canuck Nagan who's trying to close back in second. They've gone right away from Castle Cook Andy, K- Temple Mills and Festive Day. But through the gap they come and it is Battle Slilo, winner in Ballandinas on his first run. The son of Shantou comes to the last. Battle Slilo, brilliant jump by the leader and on up towards the line. Battle Slilo's going to score for the David Colliard. Scores in very good fashion in ease down to score by the best part of six or seven lengths to so Knuck Nagan back in third. There's a break of ten back, uh, back in second. There's a break of ten back to the third to Castle Gandhi, who in turn is followed by Temple Mills with two lengths further back to Festive Day back in fourth and fifth and final finishers. Too much thinking.